speak that way to a superior. Why, I'll have you skinned. What are you accusing me of? High treason. You lie. Ah! Ah! I've never seen the like. Is he injured? <sighs> the soldiers! Dad, they're gonna kill you! Easy now. You're with friends. They shot my pa! You gotta hide, Julie! I'm an outlaw, and I'm gonna kill you! No. Oh, mister, don't shoot me, please. What does that sign mean? It means that when the bell rings, it's time for church. 
Unless you're a churchgoer, you won't be welcome here, boy. But I hear tell that explanation's too simple. Some claim you have to be a good enough sharpshooter to hit the bell through that hole. Mm-hmm. Give me a gun, Uncle. I want to have a shot. Hey, you crazy, Johnny? You'll kill someone. I reckon you could do it, couldn't you? Give me a little air. I'm gonna choke. <laughs> I bet there ain't no one can shoot better. Well, not many. <laughs> hey, Uncle, are they gonna have a gunfight? Come on, kids. You don't want to watch this. Where'd you get it? I sort of found it. I, I, I... Taught me how to shoot. First, you gotta learn that a real man only uses a gun to defend himself or to protect the rights of others. You don't aim with the sights. You just point the barrel of the gun in the direction you're planning to shoot. Them sights are no good for nothing. They just make you waste time. And a fraction of a second can cost a life. Your hand never goes lower than the hip. Like this? Bang, 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 bang! Tell me, when does the stagecoach pass by here? I don't know for sure. I think in 20 days. Urgent, Fort Garland.
is the same message. Sincerely, Johnny. What do you make of all this? Well, he can only be a maniac of some kind. What possible motive could anybody have for these various attacks on your men? I don't know. However, if he wants to fight the military, I think it's up to the army to make him an example. Excuse me, Carl. Don't you think it's a bit ridiculous to send the whole regiment out against one killer? I don't intend to send my regiment out. Just one of our officers with orders to capture him. He'll be no more use than any local sheriff. That depends on selecting the right person. Have you made your choice? Hmm. Yes. Lieutenant Caringo. Lieutenant? Hmm? Colonel wants to see you. Oh. You wanted me? I want you to arrest that man. Who, me, sir? Immediately. Seems you don't know. I got a sentence to finish. I can't possibly assume this kind of mission. You have to. We've got nobody who'd do it better than you. Because I want him alive, not dead. All right, only don't forget, a live murder will always be more troublesome for honest men than a dead one. I'm ordering you not to shoot him. And I'm going to hold you responsible. But I... I suppose I must give you a chance to refuse. The main reason for accepting your order is to get out of that darn prison. Provisionally. I meant that, Colonel. We've been told that the officer who was killed was going with a woman named Sarah. She lives in Gallant, the place with the telegraph office from which the message was sent. What's the name of the man who made you send the message? I don't know, sir. Was he alone? No, there were three other men. And who were they? Did you recognize any of the three? No, sir. Hmm. Are you telling the truth? Yes, yeah, sure. I haven't anything to hide. They were all four strangers. Right. Tonight you're going into town with me for a drink. But, sir, I'm on duty tonight. I can't go. I'm sorry. You have to. Is Sarah here? Mm-hmm, in the room. I must pay her a visit. Uh, will you be long? I hope not. But remember, I want to find you still here. Uh, sure. Who are you, mister? What do you think you're doing? Just looking for a little information. <laughs> you can have all you want. Hey, Ted, you tell him where he can go. <laughs> Get on out of here. Who is Johnny? I don't know. Cowboy, you're crazy. I guess you didn't hear what I said. I said, get out of here. You, Lieutenant Jackson, didn't you? Let me be. Did you know the lieutenant? Yeah, let me go, yes. Did you know who the guy was who murdered Jackson? No, no, believe me, I don't know anything. Sure, you don't know any of them. Hmm? No, they keep it. Please let me go. Let me breathe. I really mean it. I hardly know anything. The lieutenant told me he thought he contacted one of the buddies of this guy. Of this guy called John. Yeah, go on. Is that everything? 
Yes. Which one? <laughs> well, with his back to us. You interfere in this brand. Where the hell are the others, and where's your friend Johnny? Just for openers. How do you like it? Huh? I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. You'll beg for mercy when I start really going on you here. So maybe you better consider giving me an answer. <laughs> See this rope? Doesn't it remind you of anything? Move. Who the devil are you? This is this a game you're playing? I'll refresh your memory. Step in the loop. What do you mean to do to me? This is my land. Clear off. Better not keep me waiting. Do what I said. If anything, you know what I mean? I don't know what you're talking about. There's the rest of your guy. I, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. your memory? I tell you, I don't know nothing. I swear I don't. Honest. Uh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, let me die. Where are they? Any ideas about warning your friends? I told you where we're meeting, Johnny. What more do you want with me? Your friend better tell the same story and name the same rendezvous. You'll be sorry if you've been telling a lie. Hold it. Don't move. It's all right. Just me. 
What about that guy? Uh, he's an old pal. I'll come down. Was he? Uh, he wants to ask you something. I better take care of my own explaining. Because it's important to both of you. You see, just in case you're interested, I'm a lieutenant in the army. Hold it. Like all those others that you and your friend Johnny have been murdering. Listen, Bill, I told him it was Johnny's fault that he made us to her. Where are you meeting Johnny? You may have got an answer out of him. But I'm not telling you nothing. You really think so? Well, don't count on it. I ain't worried. You will be. Because I'll beat it out of you. If you can fight without a gun, mister. Come on, drop it. Camp here. How about untying me for the night? I told you what Johnny is. And I'd let me go. Not yet. You might have been telling a lie. I changed all that much in just four years, Julie. <laughs> Johnny, what do you mean frightening me that way? Johnny. <laughs> uh, 
I hope I have a chance to welcome my nephew. Of course, Uncle Cloud. <laughs> it's been a mighty long time. We were beginning to worry that something might have happened. You chose the right moment to arrive. I'm just preparing dinner now. Fine. And I got some really special whiskey I keep for celebrations like this. Uncle Cloud, your hair, it's turning gray. Eh, the years don't spare anybody. Is it real? Yeah. Must seem pretty funny. This, on me. So they made you sheriff? Yep. Uh, Bell City. It's an old fogey's job. Nobody makes trouble nowadays. But what about you? I hope you're going to stay with us for a bit now. I can't. Maybe for a couple of days. I, uh, I'm waiting on some friends. They said they'd meet me here. What was your work like? Tell us everything. Did you earn much money? <laughs> I bet you're the best cowpuncher in the West. <clears throat> All right, Uncle Klaus. While Julie's asking questions, um, let's have a drink of that special whiskey. Go. We'll be on our way soon. Please don't shoot! Don't shoot! No, please don't shoot! Ah! Ah! Howdy, Judy. Is the old guy around? You referring to me by any chance? Scusate, signor Klaus, non parlavo di... Never mind, come on. Give me a hand. The stagecoach is about due.
you smell anything? No, nothing special anyway. You ain't put on eau de cologne. Sure I have. <laughs> that ain't no crime to want to smell pretty. Don't get upset, boy. <laughs> That there coach is bringing the new doctor out. And I want him to understand that we ain't just hit cowboys, we're gentlemen like he is. You know, his daughter's real pretty, too. <laughs> That's something else revolting. You'll probably start bee swarming. <laughs> Almost 10. Hey, wait, Julie. Has anyone asked about me? Uh -uh. Hmm, strange. They should be here already. Be here? Some friends that I'm waiting to meet. I told you about them. Uh, maybe they're lost, I hope. Anything that'll help keep you here. <laughs> Julie, how you doing? Oh, there. Morning, everyone. You have a 30-minute stop over here for breakfast. Ah, good idea. Julie, what's the matter? Don't I even get a smile? I'll only be a minute. <laughs> Same old line, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm the sheriff of Bell City. This is Nancy, my daughter. It's a pleasure to know you. If you like, I'd be glad to keep you company for the last lap of the trip. Good. Tell the driver. Of course. Uh, thank you, sir. Nothing. Sheriff, it's only my duty. Anytime you need anything, you just ask. Uh -huh. You got a funny smell. Yeah, well, what's the <laughs> matter? Don't get upset. It's kind of pretty, really. Only... If you don't mind smelling like these sweaty animals, you can take them to water. <laughs> Allow me. Care for a cup of coffee? No, thank you. I can carry this by myself if you please let go. Oh, never. I'm a gentleman, after all. Now, I told you to let go. Let go of my case. <laughs> much farther? No, you're almost there. I wrote to a fellow named Potter. He's a big landowner, I hear. I'm planning to buy his ranch. Did he tell you anything? Be careful, Potter. That man would swindle his poor widowed mother to make a buck. <laughs> we better get moving. Madam Pompadour, I reckon you don't mind if we go. <laughs> I reckon I don't. <laughs> Next time, you'll have to tell me where you bought that perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind his jokes. I mean, it's a real pleasure to smell that odor you got on you. You mean it, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I paid over two dollars for it. Gosh. <laughs> you were waiting for? Help us carry him. No.
What's wrong, Johnny? I want to know who he is. But what is it to you? Is something the matter? Get away from here. Who gave you that beating, mister? Johnny, why bother him with questions when you know he won't be in any fit condition to answer him yet? It's none of your business. Go away. I want to know who killed my friend. It was you who killed him. I know it was. Johnny, have you gone mad? Leave that guy alone. Don't get mixed up in this, Julie. The man's a killer. I found one of my boys in the river. And he must have killed the other one, too. I'm sure he'll have some explanation. Johnny, you have to treat him fairly. You've never been a coward, I know. More reason for not doing anything cowardly now. Okay. Maybe you're right. I'll leave it to Uncle Klaus. He's the sheriff. <laughs> Do you need anything? No, thanks. Ah. A respect to the law. I should hope so. Mighty fine boy there, isn't he? Sure, mighty fine. But don't make him angry. Does Damon still live in town? Damon? You a friend, maybe? Hey, you ain't in trouble. No. Uh, we used to be friends. Damon beat me up one time when we were kids. He was a lot stronger. Of course, that's forgotten now. <laughs> you have any good whiskey? You bet. Real special. I make it myself. <laughs> oh, howdy, Doctor. Howdy. How are you, Miss? How you doing? Howdy. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. She hasn't quite forgotten this morning. Can I offer you something? Yeah, sure can. Are you settling in, Doc? I got a problem. We've been forced to move into a room and house. Yeah. Uh, I thought old Potter was selling you his farm. Uh, so did I. Only he's changed his mind, I guess. Really, Doctor? Did my friend Potter break a promise? Is he a friend of yours? Yeah. I thought so. Well, he's really a friend of my family. Your behavior is identical. Nancy, don't be offensive. Oh, leave her alone. I don't mind. Mm. Now, about the sale. You got a signed contract? Why? You want it? <sighs> Dr. Grayson, I just want to help you. I'm sure if I talk to Potter, I can persuade him to keep his word. Can you do that? I mean, do you really think so? Let's see the contract. Whoa, whoa! Papa? Hi, Julie. What's wrong? Oh, nothing serious. I've only come to town for the doctor, but Johnny probably told you everything. You been feeling bad? What, me feel bad? Look, I'm tough as an ox. <laughs> <laughs> but this morning, only a couple of minutes after you drove away, this fellow arrived. He was injured. He seemed as if he'd been in a fight, so badly beaten up that he couldn't even talk. But you ought to have come in sooner. I know. Only somebody had to look after him. All right, dear. Better get the doc. Ah. Oh. Listen, Papa. If you want to speak to the stranger, I think you better wait a bit. Till tomorrow. Must be a reason. Johnny's already been trying to ask something. He was a bit rough. I'm sure he didn't mean to be so brutal, but I guess he must have lost control. Mm, you're probably right. Now then, tell me, what's this fellow like? A cowboy. Blue eyes. And tall. Good looking. He reminds me of a... Dream come true. Oh, don't be funny. 
dream come true. Ha! Get up, you nag! Ha! Ha! That's my gal. Hey, you got permission to come in here? What's the matter with you? You deaf? Uh, to formalize our agreement, we hereby sign this document in which both the parties declare that... What's that about, anyhow? Shh. Quiet. The parties declare that they agree to all the conditions. You see, Mr. Potter, you've already agreed. Now you just sign here. Me? I ain't signing nothing. Now listen, this here ranch is valuable, and I don't propose to sell it. And there's no use threatening, mister. It won't help. Nobody said anything about threat. I didn't come here for that. <laughs> then what you come here for? To kill you? No. You don't mean that, do you? I mean it. As you'll soon find out. Oh, please. Please. I thought it over. I'll do it. That's if you make Grayson give a better price. Sign it. You mean right away? What will? With this. <laughs> Without ink, eh? And yours? Gringo is my name. I'm a lieutenant. Glad you're feeling better. Anyway, you're welcome to stay till you're back on your feet. Hope I haven't caused all of you too much fuss. Tomorrow I'm leaving. That's impossible. The doctor said you have to stay in bed a few days. I'm afraid doctors are well known for their tendency to ask the impossible. <laughs> when you feel up to it. I hope you won't have any objections to my asking you some personal questions. You can ask me now, Sheriff. Seems that Johnny, my nephew, didn't know you were related. Why do you know him? By... Only by reputation. That's all. He told me you killed a good friend of his. But I hope that Johnny's mistaken. Of course you didn't do it. No, I'm sorry, Sheriff. You say it. But I was the one who killed the three men who were going to meet Johnny. You're confessing to three killings, then, Gringo? Self-defense for two. But the third one was unarmed and running hard. You see, I was too weak to follow him. Only my gun wasn't. And I pulled the trigger. But... But what? You murdered a man who was completely defenseless. Because he was a killer. He was a man who'd always been merciless to everyone else. You should know, Sheriff, it only means trouble to let a killer like that escape. You'll have to prove what you're saying. I can't believe they were friends of Johnny's. I'm sorry if I upset you, but I think Johnny really did know those men. And perhaps he's one of them. He's the reason I came to this town, Sheriff. Believe me. I intend to arrest him and bring him to trial. No, no. It's impossible. Impossible. It's out of the question. Johnny's no murderer. He couldn't be. You better tell Johnny I've come to get him. Not take the chance. But I guess there's no risk. You're the law here, Sheriff. I brought Johnny up as if he was my own boy. But if I have to, I hope I'm not afraid to carry out my official duty. 
Good night, Lieutenant. I'm sorry. Mm. I know you are. Well, did you find Johnny? It's no go. He left the hotel maybe two hours back. They know where he went? They told me all they knew was his room was empty. But no one saw him leave. And I asked a lot of people. Is he in any trouble? No. But when you see him, say I have to speak to him. It's very important. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this, Sheriff. <laughs> Which is it? You see, straight ahead, you're almost there. better to keep your hotel room so Potter clears off the ranch. Oh, easy there. You're going to fall down. Is there more? Oh, we're almost there. No, no. I was wondering if you bought a lot more of this stuff. No, Papa's getting the big things tomorrow. Huh? You mean there's more? You see, this place will be temporary. <laughs> then you're gonna move house again in a couple of months, huh? Something wrong? Uh, I'm gonna get moving myself. Yeah, what do you want with me? I have a little work for a couple of very fast pistols. Tell me more about it. You can count on me. Really? You drink too much. Who, me? You're crazy. Drinking don't bother me when I work. You hear? I'll prove it to you. <laughs> all right. What's it all about? Three of us, 12 of them. <laughs> How about it? Four against one, huh? That's right. Drinking does you good. Have you decided on the other one? You tell Fred. I'll wait for you in a bar after dark in 10 days. Hey, uh, Johnny, you forgot anything? We divide three ways. More money than you've ever seen. Hey, uh, what about giving me the details, Johnny? You know the main thing. Four against one. It would be much better if there were a few more of us. But then each share would be much smaller. The rest? You'll find out later. Whatever you think. I'm with you. I'll tell Fred. <laughs> you've been real kind. I won't forget it. Neither will I. Johnny is just one person, Julie. But there are hundreds of simple and honest people in danger until he's captured. And believe me, I'm sorry for both of you. I'll do my best to take him alive. That's all I ask of you. This badge. Put here quite recently, I think. Mm hmm? He must be around. Well, we'll go into town and make some inquiries. Yes, I know. But it hurts me to believe your story. 
Obviously, the facts are against him. But let me ask one question. Have you considered my position? It's too bad, Sheriff. But I have to follow my orders. I'm sorry. You know who's responsible? It's me, for everything he's done. Please. I know everything. Julie told me the story. That boy's a maniac. Has to have a gun so he can be a man. And to think I taught him to shoot. Mm, I remember it well. He began young. He practiced. That was the only thing that seemed to matter to him. Some deep purpose must have been pushing him. Like he was afraid someone was chasing him and he had to defend himself. Okay, whereabouts is he? I don't know. But I reckon he'll come back. You try and stay out of the way. No. I've never run away from my duty, Garingo. Anyway, if you're right, he should be in one place. The jailhouse. I reckon it's the best we can do. Well, did you hear the bell, Sheriff, huh? Yes, I heard it. I reckon you're here as a welcoming committee, huh? Morning, Sheriff. Good morning. Hey, beautiful, how oh, about I'm us? I'm sorry, howdy, everyone. That's better. Pretty peaceful here. Keeping it that way is my job. Don't worry, Sheriff, we're real peaceful. You better be. Really, and what if we make a little trouble? You'll not try anything. On your way, mister. Oh, well, keep out of this, will you? Did you hear? Get going. Let's move, Pete. We gotta work. Well, maybe I got some work right here. Come on, Pete, come on. Hmm. I'll be seeing you, amigo. You trying to ruin everything? Don't expect me to put up with that. I'm getting tired of being your nurse. Because if you mess up things before we get finished, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Had them cars up your sleeve. <laughs> you don't really mean that, do you? Because if you did, you'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, because a respectable gambler like me don't cheat. Why are you taking all that money? Perhaps some of it's really yours, yeah. Then give me my winnings. Uh, no, I'm afraid you and me don't agree, amigo. I'm keeping the money. <laughs> There's nothing to get angry about. Sometimes everyone has a bit of bad luck. Only I don't always accept my troubles meekly. Give me my money now. Hark it, friend. You can help yourself. Well? Come on. There's two ways to get the money. You can kill me or pick my pocket. He's a real polite guy. <laughs> I don't know any more than that. Does this Damon live really very far away? About three hours from here. Uh, listen, did Johnny say that he was going to return? I don't rightly recall, but I think he did. Goodbye, Father. <laughs> what do I owe you? Forty-five dollars. Who says so? I say so. Uh, Want to know what's on the bill? Five for the bottle of whiskey plus what you stole from that guy there. Are you going to pay or do I take it on my own? 
Mm-hmm. You do that. Another step, amigo. Leave it right there on the table. And get out of here. Ain't no one in this world, mister, whose life means more to me than $45. How about your own? Smart guy, well, I promise you this. Nobody is ever going to insult me and get away with it. Sure of that. I don't really believe there's much you can do about it. About what you owe Wilson for the whiskey. Got away real cheap tonight. Want me to give you a hand? No, no, thank you. I'm just going to bed. Good night. Just a minute. Let me go. You're hurting. Oh, I got something to tell you. Let me go. I said, I don't want to talk to you. Let go. You're hurting. Come on. Me. This is no way to treat a visitor. Leave me alone. You can be nicer than this. I don't like girls who make a lot of fuss. Può andare, signorina. You just have to wait. Can't you see I'm busy? I'll be right with you. Don't get impatient. You won't interrupt me, will you? After all, a gentleman must be polite. But if you're in a hurry, I'll, I'll be glad to oblige you. I've come to arrest you. Well, I've got other plans. That's right, Mr. Harriman. Yeah. Mr. Harriman, would you tell me a little about yourself? I suppose you heard the sad story about the shooting of your friend. I've just come from Baron Hibb. Tell me your opinion. Hmm. He should have been careful. It was always like that in everything. Mm, right. What brought the two of you all the way out here to Bell City? Sheriff, I haven't done anything. And I don't believe you're entitled to ask me questions. That's your viewpoint. Don't forget that I'm the law. Va bene, non spazientitevi. We're both in... the law business. <laughs> How'd you figure that? What's this all about? Believe me. I admire you regulars. Only you don't care for bounty hunters. It's too bad. So that's it. The only criminals you're interested in tracking down are those men with a price on their heads. Naturally. Everybody has to earn a living. Isn't that right? Have you come here to look for anyone in particular? And would that bother you, Sheriff? No. Give me if I keep that to myself, huh? Obviously, Sheriff, bounty hunters have to be very discreet. You understand, it's so easy for somebody to beat me to the goal line and the reward, huh? <laughs> Johnny! What's wrong, Julie? What on earth are you doing here? Aren't you happy to see me again? 
Come on, come on. Give me a kiss and say you're glad I'm back. Please, Johnny, I gotta speak to you. That man told me everything. The man you're talking about, Julie? Gringo. The fellow who was injured. He's been talking to Pa and he knows all about you. Is he still here? No. Him and Pa are waiting for you down in Bell City. What did he tell you? A lot of terrible things about you. And you believed him? It's all lies, don't you see? It's just a pack of lies. You know he shot two of my buddies who couldn't defend themselves, Julie? Don't be bitter, Johnny. I'm afraid. They're going to arrest you because... they want... they want to have a trial for you. Please, don't go to town. Nobody will stop me. Hey, I have to deliver this. I brought you your first calf. Oh, but really, surely you're joking. What can I do with a little thing like that? Fatten him up. He'll grow, you know. Got a feeding bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty little thing. And his purse so lovely and soft. Will you take care of him, really? Why did you do this? Well, I don't know how to explain. I was thinking uh, of you. Where's he going to live? Till we go to the ranch. In a stable. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's so cute. Come on, this way. <laughs> There's a good boy. Go on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yippee! Johnny. I thought you would have had more imagination than that. All right. Would you like me to show you? It's very nice of you to make the offer, only right now I can't accept it. Then get out of here, or you'll force me to shoot you. I think the truth is that you'd prefer to shoot me. I haven't got much patience. But I have. I waited a long time for you, Johnny. That's fine. You can wait a little longer. Now. All right, then. Let's make it now. You better prepare for your funeral. You're making a mistake. There's no way you can possibly save yourself. Don't move, Johnny. Watch it, old man. I can still draw faster than you can shoot. Do it, Johnny. It'd be a big relief. I'd prefer to be dead and buried, if it means so little to you. Get back. Don't force me to shoot you. Give me those pistols. Give me them. Get back. Come on. <laughs> All right, Uncle. In memory of
of the good old days. Che vuoi da me? Il tenente Garringo. Now do you understand? He told me the story of all those defenseless officers you killed. I gave those men as much chance as they gave my father. He had none. You understand? None! 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 You gone crazy. Sheriff, I'll come back later. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Yeah. Only the people who loved you are going to suffer. I know. When you were a kid, right out there, a couple of men had a fight about a woman. One of them got killed. Yeah? You said... I want a gun like my pa. And I taught you to use it. Yeah. I made you what you are. So you think this is all your fault, do you? Yes. I think I know you boys. May I? Don't mind? <laughs> Your name wouldn't be Damon. Just relax. I ain't the law. How come you know it? You're a wanted man. There's a price on your head. How's that? Take it easy. It's a low price. Unfortunately. And beat it, stranger. You both know Johnny, right? Yeah, so? He's in jail. You want him out, don't you? Maybe he won't. We must help him get away. I have my reasons for wanting him out. Now listen to me. inside. <laughs> Sheriff, you make one move and I'll fill you full of lead. Let free the prisoner. Don't do it. Leave him there. Come on. Release the prisoner. Or you'll be sorry. Do what he tells you.
Let's have a rest. Get him off. Gonna leave Garingo here, huh? No. I have something for him. He needs proof, and I want to give it to him. You tired? You know, I learned that trick from you. What would you do if I untied you? You aren't mad enough to untie me. You're too much of a coward. You know, seeing as how you're an army officer, maybe I should have given you a chance to defend yourself. But it would have worked out the same. You think you're something special. That's what's wrong with you. I know your kind. <laughs> Sorry for you. You're going to be punished for these things, although it's all our fault. You'd like to get away, I guess. Look, Johnny! Gold! Much more than we were hoping for. Well, Lieutenant? Well? What are you waiting for? Don't you believe me? Take one of the horses. Go on. for the rest of our lives. yours. You promised us a three-way split. That's right. We've split it into three shares, but they're not the same. Funny joke. Only I must have missed the point. Damon? You explain it to him. I bet you understand. With me, there ain't no problem. I'll go along with you. But I won't. Put your hands up, Johnny.
It isn't fair. You'll force me to kill you. <laughs> you won't find it easy. All right. Let's be intelligent. I agree. Step aside now. Damon, if you got any objections, tell me. I already told you, Johnny. I'm not arguing about it. That's good. You're a wise man to avoid arguing, and you'll live longer. Yeah, I guess you're right, Johnny. Take one of the horses. Job is finished. You can go. Yeah. Lieutenant, I know where he's gone, only I want the reward. Johnny! If you don't surrender, you better start praying. I'll give you one last chance. You both have ten seconds. Either move out fast or catch a bullet. What are you waiting on? He's loco. He can't possibly get away now. If anything happens to me, you won't have to share the reward. Hmm. He won't be going far. He's wounded. I reckon he'll head for Bell City. Let's go. Not you. 
I'll go alone. I don't need you. Be careful. Don't make trouble. You be careful or you're a dead man. Hands up now. Yeah. Cut your nails, huh? Is that right? Where would you like me to shoot you? Or maybe you were hoping to get lynched. That would be real nice, huh? huh? You see, we're ready to do everything possible to give you an even break. No! No, Damon! Don't do it! Don't shoot! I'll tell you where the gold is. No! I'll give it all to you. No, don't shoot. Please. It's in the cabin. You can have it. All of it. Don't shoot me. Don't. Please. 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 No. Don't, please. Damon, I beg you. Don't do it. No. Go. Please. No. Please, Damon. We're friends. Please. No. No. Please. No. 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 No sparare! No sparare! No sparare! No! No, Damon! No, no sparare! Get right. <laughs> 